Hi guys, my name's Freya, welcome to my channel. Today is my first like proper declutter. Um, I, I'm not actually going through all my drawers to declutter because I don't have that much and it's just going to be a pain. So I thought this will just be easier to do it this way. I found that a lot of um, my makeup that I thought was fine has actually expired. So um, let's get into this. So first off, not makeup but i am decluttering it this uh donna cell battery for the camera this records for what 10 minutes and then it dies so that is going in the bin bye bye these are dr paul paul outrageous orange balm and hot pink balm i got these in a glossy box i've had them for a couple of years and um because i love lip balms but for some reason never reach for these so they have to go i have here a uh, lac lacqua and co um cloud lip lipstick it's like a mauvey pink never use it i don't even know why i have it so i got that in a glossy box as well this is why i've stopped my subscription for glossy box because a lot of the stuff I don't actually want some things I come across which they send me which I'm like oh that's new love that but then there's stuff like this which I wouldn't actually buy myself so um that's going hard candy just face it foundation in porcelain this was great um but then the top stopped working it was a pain very messy because i have to unscrew it put it on my hand to use it so um then i just stopped using it so that's been in my drawer while and it's going stay naked by urban, urban decay foundation this is starting to separate on my skin it separates literally on my skin it just looks awful um so this is going it's expired another dr paul paul uh, uh, balm this one's uh, just a normal non-tinted it's fine spf really good um but it's just been in my drawer for a long time because obviously i'm using other balms so that has to go i got it here the Foria soft matte long wear foundation cheap foundation really good it definitely is full coverage but it's been in my drawer for a long time because i'm reaching for other ones more um hydrating foundations um so for that reason this is going another one which looks very similar to that one which is the ordinary serum foundation this is separating it just looks disgusting can you see that yeah i don't know whether you can see that but yeah it's horrible even shaking it up it doesn't do anything it's gross it's going in the bin these i've got in a glossy box they are dwtn paris uh highlighter and blush they are both going um because i never reached for them and i've had them a long time this i was sad about when i seen this i was like no not the cheap Jew by Colourpop. I love these. Uh, the other two are absolutely fine, but this one has separated and gone all watery and horrible. It's expired. It's the hibiscus one. Very sad. It was lovely, but it has to go in the bin. Another glossy box, Apicia blush in pollen. I don't know how to say that. Um, it's, I never use it, so it's going. <laughs> Fit Me Foundation uh, by Maybelline 220 Natural Beige is just so dark for my skin. For something which is meant to be a beige and a natural beige, it's just too dark. So for that, it's going in the bin. These here, I don't know where I got these, but I love them. It Cosmetics. A uh, bye bye under eye illuminating this one's illuminating concealer anti-aging concealer i love the fact that it was like face care in uh, makeup which is now coming in like big time this year apparently um but yeah i i love these but i, I forgot about them because you know when i got these that was like about four years ago 
and I was really big into concealers then. I still am, but then I was just really looking for the next best concealer. And um, yeah, I just forgot about them. So they're going in the bin. Glam Light Chocolate Candy Bar Lashes. These, um, I didn't like them very much. The band is too thick, they're not flexible. They are their cheaper lashes. I've heard they're more expensive lashes um, are better. But these ones by Glam Light just didn't do it for me. I didn't pick these myself. These I got in the holiday box, which is seven pre-picked items for, I don't know, I think it's something like $43. It was a bargain. So these were a bargain. I'm glad that I tried them. Uh, and I do want to try them more expensive lashes, but I won't ever be purchasing these ones again at all. These I got in a glossy box. This is why I've stopped my subscription because a lot of the stuff is glossy box, which I've held on to and I don't want. So these are the Black Magic um, mascaras, Drama and Curl mascaras. Two of them, never used them. I, I think I used them once and they didn't add drama or curl to my lashes and so I've never touched them. So they are going in the bin. Uh, Rapid Brow, this is expensive serum, They're about 40 quid for um, the brow and 40 quid again for the eyelash serum. They do work, but uh, this one I've had for about 8 months and not used it. It's still quite full, but it's going in the bin because it's probably expired. This is the Kuishi, Kuishi Double Effect Makeup Remover. Um, this was really good, but it's gone bad. It's just not mixing like it should. And for that reason, it's got to go. It's a great remover. This here is Lizzie Hide and Correct Concealer. I just ordered the wrong one. Never heard of this brand before. Thought, oh, why not just try it? Um, and it's just really dark. I wouldn't really want to use it for contour either because it's just really hard to get out of the bottle you're like squeezing for your life to get it out and no makeup should not be that hard work the nourishing mascara by botanning beauty and i have a mini one here as well um these were great for eyebrows uh, when when i do my eyebrows real dark i use them for that as an eyebrow gel uh, because they're black and nourishing like the idea um, yeah, and I found them great for that. Uh, never use them on the lashes though. Um, but yeah, they've expired so they are going. This is a sad one. The Beauty Bay Fibre Gel uh, Brow Gel in Teddy. Um, absolutely great. Love this. Um, I've used it quite a lot. There's still loads in there. It feels quite heavy. Still a lot in there. But it's dried out already. So that has to go. I will be repurchasing that. I have here Physician's Formula Killer Curse Mascara Mini. I've used it once, didn't really like it. It's going in the bin. The Real Tinted Primer by Benefit. It's a mini, never use it, going in the bin. This here is the MC or MCO Beauty Cheek and Lip Tint. Got it in Glossy Box, never used it. It's probably expired. I've had it for years. So that's going in the bin. And the last of the makeup is the Strawberry Carmex Lip Balm SPF 15. I've had this a while. Too long. It's just been sitting in a drawer. And I just forget to use it, obviously. I've got more balms than that, which I like more. So for that reason, that's going in the bin. So that is it. That's all my makeup.